Hi, this is Ann Bradley. I want to talk to you today about the Tom Cruise Katie Holmes divorce and what it means for divorcing your own narcissist, sociopath, your jerk. What we have learned is that everything so far appears to be going just the way Katie Holmes wanted it. Now, how did she manage this? She was up against the Church of Scientology, a huge entity with deep pockets, attorneys from here to Kingdom Come, and of course the biggest controller and micromanager of all, Tom Cruise himself. She planned. Plan, plan, planning. I'm pretty amazed at how much planning she did, and apparently she started a few years ago. She put everything into place, including her support team, the cell phones, the new home, the cars, etc., etc. She knew exactly, she strategized, and then she used the tactics that she needed to get that strategy to make it work. In her case, the strategy was, I'm going to get control vis-a-vis -vis my support team and overcome the micromanaging that Tom is doing. I'm going to surprise him. And that's exactly what she did. She worked behind the scenes with her father, who's an attorney. Now, I know not all of you are going to have fathers who are attorneys and a support team like she had, but you can grow your own. Even if your spouse has managed to turn the whole family against you, which is quite possible with a narcissistic spouse, find some people. Find a mentor. Find a friend. Get online. There are people that act that way for you from different organizations. It's one of the things I do. But you don't need to hire somebody. You can, but you can also find new friends and support groups of divorcing people. You can go see a psychotherapist. See who they recommend. People that are pro your court and will act as a support team. There's many, many ways of doing this. You don't have to be out in the cold. What else did Katie do? She changed cell phones over so that they were no longer under the control of the Church of Scientology. She booted the, um, apparently, and I can't say all this absolutely true, but from what I understand, um, she slowly maximized her resources by getting rid of some of the Scientology minders that were always following her around. Moved into a home where Tom couldn't get into. Made some excuses, but it worked. She needed to get away from a huge controller, Tom, and the deep pockets that were behind him with an organization that absolutely despises independence. And um, she probably had it worse than most people do who are with a controlling narcissistic spouse. And she used her resources well. Over time, she planned this divorce with the element of surprise and everything in place. So by the time Tom was hit with this, she had all her ducks in order. And planning and can mean different things. Maybe it's a stash of cash you have, enough to live for a year, six months, enough to hire an attorney, get some money, make sure the documents, the financial documents you need, you're able to get to them. Find your support team. See who's on your side. See who perhaps your spouse has gone to. Interview attorneys. Get online. Find out the law for your state. It's really important you understand. A lot of people don't know the rights they have. Learn as much as you can. I say it in all of my courses, my books, my consults, every time I talk to people. The most important part is the planning stage. A lot of people come to me too late. Not too late, but later than I wish they would. So get out there, plan, strategize, tactics, find out what that means in a divorce, and you too can be the star of your own divorce. This is Ann Bradley. Bye.